Welcome everyone. We got Northwood White versus Concordia today. Should be a good match. Definitely looking forward to see some great Rocket League from both teams. Oh um, yeah, 100%. We got Loom filling in here today as the sub, uh, replacing Nitrous, I believe. So it should be Noxus Pirates and Loom. Um, and then we're going to be going against here. We got Tynite, Yellow Toad, and Ezath. So we'll see uh, what their names are in game. Sometimes it can vary between the website that we're given and uh, who shows up. So um, obviously subs could also be filling in for them that we are unaware of. But we'll see how that goes. And uh, we're just waiting for players to hop in and then we'll get some Rocket League going. Well, seems like Rocket League or, uh, Northwood has just joined the Rocket League lobby. So I'm assuming Concordia should be on their way very soon. Very, very good. So we're excited to get this uh, going here. It's cu currently going to be my first match casting, so I'm excited to see how this goes. And uh, hopefully it's a, a good showing today and not a complete blowout like we're used to seeing North of Lake competing at. So obviously they're uh, playing at a very high level here. So there's going to be some good Rocket League. And uh, hopefully we'll <laughs> we're able to see the other team show up and kind of put on a good show. Oh, yeah. It's always good to watch any close games and pretty much any game in general not just rocket league but 100%. i would say there's a lot more excitement when it comes to rocket league with games being so close because there's always the potential for that zero second goal that could just <laughs> change up anything right oh 100 percent. i don't know if anyone here was watching the luminosity games the other day but uh when they played against furia they went to i think it was game four might have been game i think it was game four uh they got the zero second goal the ball was up in the air and it was a it was a very oh. close justin this is rocket league type of moment <laughs> and got very very hyped so check out the twitter and you'll you'll be able to see the clip i'm referring to but just like that we want to see close games but hopefully not too close we still want to win obviously oh of course uh, northwood bias over here um but i think our predictions are pretty obvious here we're going to be going with northwood white for, for the win over here oh um, absolutely but We'll see what happens. Obviously, anyone can show up, and some people cannot show up, and it could cause some uh, issues. But you know, hopefully, we'll see all of our players showing up and putting on a good show. Well, hopefully, that all players show up on both teams just to see some high-level competition Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Looking for something to provide that's more entertaining, as well as Northwood, of course, being able to close this one out pretty quickly and doing their thing 100%. like they usually do. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're not used to seeing Northwood uh, struggle here. Obviously. Oh, and looks like some of our other players are joining in, so the show should be put on the road here shortly. But like I was saying, Northwood's not used to having a, a struggling uh, sh performances. Uh, usually we see them putting on a pretty dominatory uh, gameplay over and over. So we're going to be seeing that quick start. We like to, we like the quick goals right off the face off, so we have a lot of pressure coming out on offense here. Um, we tend not to let up here, but, you know, obviously, like I said earlier, it's anyone's game, and we'll see what happens. Of course, and it looks like they are getting ready to go. Concordia University, Concordia, Texas University versus Northwood White University. Uh, and all right, coming off the kickoff, Northwood is able to put it right into Concordia's side, and we've got Yellow Toad up in the air. Uh, did you enter? There we go. Pirates looking to make a quick center. Great stop there from Concordia. They'll clear that one out, but Pirates might be able to make some kind of conversion here with Loom going up. Pirates gets another center. We got Jesco getting a clear, kind of putting down some counter pressure, but Loom able to clear to the corner. Dodging a bump there. We got Pirates taking it up the side, going off the wall. We're gonna see if he can get a double tap here. He does. They are able to counter however and clear it out. Again, we see another counterattack coming from Concordia here. Missing the double touch off the wall. Loom able to get a clear. Concordia up to make the counter play. Nox is clearing to the corner. Pirates able to get a quick touch. Just go missing on that touch. Seeing a lot of fast play here. Lots of aerial play, which is a little bit surprising. Usually we don't see too much aerial play coming out this early as teams usually like to feel each other out before they get going. But. Oh, of course. It's all about sizing up your opponents, figuring out what they want to go for, what they're looking for, and find ways Loom. to punish. And Loom putting a gets shot a great on net. shot. Really good play here. I obviously able to capitalize on the center pass from Maxis here. Able to put it on the open net. Looks like Concordia unable to rotate. Getting caught lacking there with the net open. Those rotations are going to be some of the most important parts of this game right now because Northwood has been pretty dominant with finding ways to punish a missed rotation. Absolutely. Here we got Yellow Toad clearing out the center. We do see Concordia go, trying to get up there but unable to connect. It's going to be really, really vital for uh, Concordia here to make sure that they're 
getting the touches and getting not not just touches but distinct touches and touches that they with intention here anytime they're able to they they do mess up Northwood's gonna be there to punish them they're really good at catching those cycles making sure that when they're coming through um, anytime there is a break in play they're capitalizing on it here we see Pyrus coming through again Concordia unable to get control of the ball Noxus with a really good pass above the crossbar and Concordia just a little bit too slow to get there. Great center from Noxus and Pirates in the perfect position to make that little read off the backboard. He's able to put that one right in the back of the net. Oh yeah, here we go. A good face off here. Concordia with the win, but North are able to clean it up. Pirates taking off the back wall. Concordia able Luke to going up for the center. Oh yeah. Not quite anything there yet. Noxus maybe looking for something. Gets 50 feet up on the wall. Maybe makes a little bit of a conversion there. Gets another center, but no follow-up from Northwood except for Pirates right there for another 50. Doesn't quite get anything come off of it. Concordia on the counterattack. Up to Yellow Toad. Great block from Noxus. Puts it right back to Concordia's half. Northwood back on the attack. Gets a shot from <laughs> Loom. Loom puts in another one. Second goal of the game. We're seeing, a, again, a pretty dominant uh, performance here from Northwood. Like I said before the show started, um, we're expecting Northwood to come out swinging. Obviously, this is the performance we're seeing. We're two minutes in. We've already got three goals. Um, so kind of hoping to see this continue going, but clearly this is a dominatory performance yet again. Oh, absolutely. And here comes Yellow Toad, the little air dribble. Noxus goes up to block it. Noxus makes the great block, putting him to Northwood's corner. Northwood looking for some kind of counterattack and clear here. Ooh. They can't quite find anything yet. No one there from Concordia to capitalize on this little bit of break and play. Ty and I able to go up, getting a really good carry. Unfortunately, not able to get that center that he was looking for. Jesco getting caught backwards, but able to kind of stifle some of the Northwood offense here. Northwood's playing it slow, kind of setting something up, taking a good 50 there, back into the corner. Concordia taking advantage of that 50 right there as Yellow Toad gets a touch, puts it into the corner, maybe looking for a follow-up pass. Noxus with a great clear up to Loom. Loom over to Pirates. Pirates might be able to do something with it. Not quite. Loom working in the corner. Great block from Pirates to keep it on Concordia's half. Pirates looking for a little bit of a conversion here. Looking for the ground pitches. Noxus comes out of nowhere off the crossbar and down. Great clear from Concordia. Unfortunately, he was not able to convert that into a goal, but we obviously still have that three goal lead with only a minute 45. Lots of time oh, in the game. And Pirates. Pirates, ooh, with a nasty angle coming in. Really, really, really good. Able to get that double touch. Catching again, Concordia out of their rotations. Unable to get behind the net. Unable to get up in the air. Um, they both tried to put a hand up, but because of that rotation mistake, they were caught out of position, and we saw them get punished for it. All right, Northwood up 4-0 to zero in game one. With a minute 40 left on the clock. Loon looking to make something happen here with the center. Not quite going to get anything off that 50. For bump, unable to get that bump. We haven't seen too many uh, de demolishes earlier uh, in this game. We did see one. Uh, we didn't see a goal come from it, but Concordia was the one with that demo. And that, I think that's something here that Concordia should be looking for because Northwood, unlikely to be making these uh, cyclical mistakes that we've been seeing Northwood capitalize on Concordia for. So if uh, they're not going to make mistakes, Concordia has to be able to make those mistakes, make those uh, pockets for them. So kind of getting that demo, kind of messing up those rotations, they might be able to capitalize on it. But for now, kind of seeing a, a bit of resistance coming back, but nothing too crazy. Of course, it's a great point with those demos messing up the rotation, but it also could lead to a bit of a mental battle there too. We're looking to get something going, not quite on target there. Noxus with something here, and he sneaks it in. Great shot for Noxus to go up five to zero for Northwood with 48 seconds left in game one. Yeah, really dominant performance here from Northwood already, and this is kind of what we expected, but at the same time, again, anyone could have shown up, anyone could have made those uh, really, really important plays, but uh, Concordia is kind of struggling a bit here to generate some offense, almost something there, but we see a demo coming back from Pirates here. Um, like I said, it can go both ways. Any team can make those demos, and that can be the difference between a goal or not. So making sure that you're kind of looking out for those. <laughs> if you're on the receiving end of one of those, uh, making sure you're able to get back as soon as you can. But some really good gameplay so far. Oh, absolutely. With 30 seconds left, let's see if Concordia is able to get on the board. Oh, yeah. We can see a clear coming out from Noxus up to Loom. Loom unable to get that mid. Yellow Toad able to get a decent clear, but Pirates is able to put it right back in. Off the ceiling again. No one's in net. Loom! In the net, so close to not getting that one in, but he was able to bury that one. Again, we're catching those rotations consistently.
just they're unable to get that rotation down. The speed of the game is just so fast coming from Northwood, and I don't blame them, anyone that's playing against them. It's got to be that again, the mental barrier you said earlier with knowing that Northwood is a very, very good team, um, but also just the speed of the game, just mechanically unable to compete. Um, and this is kind of what we're seeing here. I would have to agree with that. Jesco looking to make something happen, not quite, and it looks like Northwood is about to close out game one officially. Looking to kill that one there, and there it goes. Northwood for game one. Again, not something that we are too surprised about, but we are really happy with the way that North was performing. Um, they came out ex extremely aggressive like we were assuming they would and kind of putting some of the berries on net. Uh, we did see a total of uh, 10 shots on net from Northwood compared to the three shots from Concordia. And anyone that watches Rocket League knows that shots on goal, although not always the biggest indicator, shows what side of the field the ball has been on most of the time and can be a really good indicator of uh, kind of where where the game is going to head. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can't score if you don't take the shots. <laughs> absolutely. <yep. laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. We'll see if Concordia Tex is able to kind of regroup here, maybe able to turn some of these uh, offensive pressures into a counterattack. Uh, we haven't seen anything too crazy. We had a couple really good uh, plays coming from Concordia, so they're definitely not down and out. Um, like I said, I think one of the biggest things they should be focusing on is getting these demos, making sure to capitalize on some of these overextensions that could be happening from Northwood. Now, our rotations on uh, a Northwood sides have been pretty much impeccable. Uh, they, they've been always able to get back when they needed to, uh, but it's always possible that someone could be slightly out of position or overextended. I would have to agree with that 100%. I mean, Northwood, as we saw, was taking advantage of Concordia, missing a couple of rotations here and there, and their capitalization on it has been flawless almost every time. Coming up with goals that may not seem as big, but when you think about it in the long run, I mean, you can't win the game if you don't score. Absolutely. Obviously. Yep. Here we go, starting game number two. Taking the face off here. We'll see who's able to start off with some pressure. Concordia able to win that one, but Loom is able to clear it over to the middle. Tynite's already up in the air, and we're seeing already within the first 10 seconds of the game, Concordia's kind of picking up the pace, which is something that they struggled with last game, and hopefully they'll be able to match their mechanics to their speed. Unfortunately, as we mentioned earlier, those overextensions can be capitalized on the Northwoods end, but here we saw Northwood able to do the same for Concordia. Noxus with a dunk into an open net. Again, those rotations were just slightly off. They were trying to set up the offense, but just completely forgot about the defensive side of the field. <laughs> 15 seconds in. Northwood up 1-0. to zero. Pirates wins a faceoff. Might be looking for something. Not quite Yellow Toad right there to react with it. And here comes Northwood down the field. Unfortunately, not able to capitalize off it. Taking more of a defensive stand for that one. As Loom gets a touch, looking for a center. Here comes Pirates, maybe for one more. Unable to get a touch on it. And we did just see a double commit coming from the Northwood side. So obviously, we aren't going to be playing a perfect game of Rocket League. And those are the situations that Concordia needs to be able to capitalize on. If they aren't, they just aren't going to see the results they want. Pirates with a goal. More coming from an own goal from Concordia's side. Not something that you're going to uh, <laughs> write home about, obviously. Unfortunate with that half lift turning into a goal. Obviously, that's not what he meant to do. Uh, but you can get caught on your own end and uh, making sure that if you were rotating from a different uh, side of the field, you wouldn't have gotten scored on there. But, you know, something to work on for the future. Of course, very unlucky touch on that one. Concordia might be looking to make up for that little mistake right there. Here comes Pirates. Nifty little air dribble over to Noxus. Noxus looking to make something where Noxus oh. with a shot puts it right into the center of the net. Putting no one there in Concordia's net to make the save. Pirates with a really good pass mid, and we saw a double commit from Concordia, and then a second double commit coming out, but both just slightly behind. It's that, sp that pace of the game that is just making it so difficult for Concordia to respond. Oh, of course. Here comes Bloom winning the 50 at mid. Jesco up near Knox is looking for a block. Not quite getting anything. Yellow Toad Ooh. not quite able to get a shot off of there as it drops right in front of him. Pirates gets a wall pinch up. Loom looking to react. Nothing there, but here comes Pirates and Northwood, maybe. Not quite anything there. Noxus puts it up in the Concordia's corner. We get a clear from Yellow Toad. Pass it down to Ty Knight. Ty Knight looking to get something going. Ty Knight gets a demo on Noxus. Concordia not able to do anything with it yet as Jesco goes up, but unfortunately Noxus is right there to stop him. Yellow Toad taking it to the middle. He's got a little bit of an opportunity here. He's getting denied by Northwood, unfortunately, but Loom. Making a bit of a mistouch. Concordia's capitalizing on it. Unfortunately. Oh, and we see another dunk. Pirates getting caught by Jesco there. 
unfortunately, Northwood was able to sweep that one up. Again, those rotations that we see were pretty clean up until this point. Unfortunately, that one's slightly off target. Right there, those are the situations where we need to see Concordia putting their shots on net, making sure that they're accurate with their touches, because you really, really don't have time to make mistakes, especially against such a powerful and dominant team like Northwood. Any opportunity you see with a shot on net that would have gone in, you need to take advantage of. Concordia just unable to slow down and put those shots on net. Oh, of course, and here comes Northwood taking advantage of all of those missed opportunities from Concordia. Looking to keep it in their half. As Pirates gets a good touch, but unfortunately Yellow Toad is right there. Maybe able to get something going, even though he's got no boost. Was able to put some pressure onto Northwood, who was able to easily counter that Loom with a touch. Oh, unfortunately, nothing comes off of it. Still a great touch from Loom to put that right in the center. Absolutely, that would have been a highlight real worthy play for sure. Oh, absolutely. Put that on the Twitter clips. <laughs> <laughs> Pirates playing a bit slow, taking advantage of the space that Concordia is giving to them. Looks like we're seeing a bit of that pace uh, following through. After that first 10 seconds, I mentioned that Concordia seems to be picking up the pace a bit. A little bit of a scary situation. Unfortunately, Concordia unable to capitalize. Still got some pressure, and it gets denied here by Noxus and Loom. But as I was saying earlier, we saw some pressure getting put on early in this game from Concordia. And I think throughout this game, we've seen Concordia doing a really good job of picking up that pace and making some of the challenges that they were a bit hesitant to do so back in game one. Uh, so I th definitely think that they're making some adjustments and they're playing better. Clearly the scoreboard is reflecting the same thing. We've got a minute and a half, so things can change. But we have seen, like, for example, Yellow Toad able to make some beats. Unfortunately, Pirates are able to just capitalize on Concordia. The pass over from Noxus, taking that boost going off out in the middle. Just going on over that. Definitely a longer pass, one that you would assume might be able to react towards. Um, don't really know where the rotation came from from the Concordia or like where it went and what the thought process was of just kind of letting that one go over. But Northwood was definitely able to capitalize on that hovering ball coming all the way across the field as Pirates is looking to get something going. Not quite, but Loom gets a touch looking for a center. Cleared from Concordia and here comes Noxus. Loom from the, to oh. Loom. Loom off the ceiling doesn't quite get anything for Northwood there, but definitely an interesting touch and I don't dislike it. <laughs> no, he definitely was looking for that kill down in the center to see if uh, we could catch Concordia off on their rotations, which we've been seeing over and over. Unfortunately, there just wasn't a Northwood blue card there able to bury it in the open net. So we got a pass from Pirates over to was that Noxus in the midfield, able to score again. This goes right back to what you were talking about earlier. You've got to make sure that all of your touches are going right into the back of the net. And Noxus, so far, he's been doing very well with that. Absolutely. In both games so far. Yeah, we have yet to see too many missed opportunities coming out here from North, but any time they saw an open net, they were able to take it. Um, kind of seeing Concordia fall apart here, unfortunately. We're hoping to see Concordia continue with their ability to play fast. Uh, their pacing is still solid, but you can tell they're a bit out of their comfort zone, playing maybe out of their league here. Um, and as a result, we're seeing the scoreboard reflect just the, the sheer dominance that Northwood's putting out in the offensive zone, bearing, like you said, every single one of the opportunities they're getting, and not really uh, uh, faltering when it comes to their shooting accuracy. Oh, absolutely. There's a touch from Noxus that Concordia makes a save from. Maybe looking for a clear Pirates in the corner, looking to do some work. Gets by one, gets a touch off the wall, gets almost by Yellow Toad. But Loom is there to get another touch in the corner, looking to, for another center. That's how mid Pirates trying to get it back to Noxus. Noxus able to get it center. But there we go. We do see Concordia picking up the pace and getting to that challenge like they needed to, potentially stifling one of the goals that could have come through by Northwood. But another really solid performance from Northwood. E extremely aggressive and extremely just clinical in all of their touches. I think that's the biggest difference right now. We see the pace of the game is just a little bit too fast for Concordia to compete in. And we see yet again <laughs> Concordia one shot and Northwood out here with a solid eight. And out of those eight, we saw five of the shots going to the back of the net, three of which potentially could have gotten saved. We see two of them saved here. One might have been off the mark, but other than that, every single shot has been very clinical, back of the net, and making sure they're not missing any of those opportunities. Towards the end of game two, Concordia definitely started to pick it up defensively. They were starting to get better with their rotations. They were recognizing that Northwood was punishing all of the little missteps and little misplacements that were on their half on defense. Right. And just gotta Still. continue with that. You gotta make sure that they're continuing to make all the touches that they can, making sure that they're intercepting some of those plays. They're giving Northwood still a little bit too much space. We noticed a couple of times uh, where Concordia was unable to uh, 
compete with Northwood's uh, touches here, and they were letting Northwood take all the space they wanted with that cross that cross crease pass from basically half field that needs to be intercepted we need to see someone go up for it and if you miss at the end of the day at least you put in the effort and you made sure that you were in the right place just una unable to get there at the right time absolutely i mean it's better to put in the effort than just not put in the effort at all and concordia not able to capitalize off of the double commit in from northwood right there very very close opportunity there from concordia again just slightly behind the play they're able to pick up their pace just a little bit more. We, we have seen them do enough to last a little bit longer. At the end of last game, it was only 3-0 to zero with a minute left, which is much better than we saw from the first game's performance. However, we are seeing a bit more struggling here, and uh, they're still just slightly behind the play. Absolutely, and here comes Northwood on the attack. Great double from Noxus Ooh. right there, finding it absolutely disgusting angle. We'd love to see it here from Northwood kind of showing off a little bit, something some of their mechanical abilities obviously coming to play here, uh, which we love to see, but at the same time, from Concordia's perspective, um, that's one of those shots that definitely is savable if you are in the right place. At the end of the day, it's just a shot on net, and if you have more than 20 boost, you are able to get there. So definitely something that you can't count yourselves down and out here. A, a minute into the game, and they're only down by one. That's a very, very recoverable game. Oh, compared to last game, they put up their first one in 15 seconds. Definitely a bit of an improvement there. Pirates gets a great little Ooh. flick. Concordia unable to get the touch. We did see a little bit of a ghost touch there. But it, again, Jesco just unable to be in the position where you want it to be. Jumping a little bit too early. If he would have just cut towards that back post a little bit harder instead of swinging as wide, I think he would have gotten there and would have been able to put it over the crossbar. Whether or not there would have been a Northwood blue car there to bury the second touch, we don't know. But you got to make sure that you are getting the first one. We see a little bit of flashiness coming out from Yellow Toad. Getting the fake on two Northwood cars there. Very true. Here comes Northwood on a bit of a counterattack. Pirates looking to get something going. Pirates looking to go up. Here comes Ooh, an air dribble. Maybe. Double from Loom. A little bit of space there. Getting a good 50. Loom able to clean up a little bit. He's getting another touch here. Popping it out mid. Really Gets good center a great pass. touch in and the it net. Falls in. Jesco just flailing a net. Unfortunately, he's just not able to calm down. The nerves are kind of getting them here. Um, Noxus wasn't able to get the touch that he wanted. However, Loom's touch was able to get into the back of the net because of the mistake, the misplay from Jesco there. Off the bounce into the top left corner. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Really good demo coming out here from Jesco. Ty Knight off the ceiling, getting a good touch. Another, Another demo, demo from Jesco. Here Pirates we go. Finally, we're seeing clear. Concordia taking into account some of the things that we're saying. Those demos are going to be super vital for Concordia's ability to come back here. Plenty of game left, plenty of ability to play. Pirates with a punishing position. Pirates oh, it's a crossbar and in. <laughs> Great touch from Northwood. A lot of these goals from Northwood are coming off of the backboard. Absolutely. Clearly, it's going to be one of uh, Concordia's areas of expertise to work on. Something, one of those fields that they're going to be putting in uh, some more time in the training pack, I think, after this game. Those backboard reads, making it, being able to get up and make those saves. Because, again, each one of those touches, although very punishable, are, uh, <laughs> are savable. So you got to make sure you get up there. Oh, absolutely. It's definitely something that I see seem to be noticing that Northwood is recognizing that they aren't the greatest at making those saves or those clears. And I feel like, especially from Noxus and Pirates, they are absolutely trying to take advantage of that in every single way possible. Oh yeah, I couldn't agree more. And something that I would like to point out from Concordia's perspective here, a little bit of uh, light in, the, <laughs> light in the, the darkness that is this game against Northwood. Um, we are seeing them actually getting up towards that uh, backboard and going for it. Something yes. we mentioned earlier is they just weren't putting their hand up earlier. They weren't even trying to get in front of it. But here we saw Jesco twice at least trying to make the touch, even though you don't necessarily know where the trajectory of that ball is going. At least you're getting up there and you're showing that you're putting in that ball. Absolutely. Tainite trying to make a counter play here. Tainite definitely going to be one of the better players here on Concordia's team. You can see he's a very flashy mechanical player. Um, I'm not entirely sure what rank he's at, but he's definitely trying to take control of the game, and he's been one of the people that we have been seeing trying to cause some of those counterattacks and starting a lot of the plays. Unfortunately, he's just not getting quite the support from his team that he's been looking for. Um, Jesco able to connect with the pass there. Fortunately, it looks like Ty Knight was just out of boost. A demo trade coming from Noxus and Jesco. Pass up the mid. Loom there. Denied again by Ty Knight. Alright, here comes Concordia on a bit of a counterattack. Jesco leading the way. Noxus gets a little touch, puts it into the corner, but it still makes its way to the middle. 
Yellow Toad able to pass it out to mid. Tie Knight there, getting a little bit of a weak touch. Pirates able to capitalize on that to get a clear. Not quite a threat on the net. Almost another own goal here from Yellow Toad. Someone who we've seen struggling a bit in today's performances. Jesko able to get a really good save on net using the little bit of boost he had and the backflip able to clear it off the corner, denying North uh, the goal that they've been looking for. Trying to maintain that five goals a game average would be uh, something impressive here from Northwood. And they're oh. currently getting it denied. Pirates getting a demo in the midfield. It absolutely would be impressive for Northwood to hold that five goal average. <laughs> and here comes Northwood on a bit of an attack here. Not quite getting anything come off of Loom's touch in the corner. But Pirates is able to gain some control. Gets past one. They're looking to get past Yellow Toad. Not quite. Yellow Toad makes a bit of a catch and looks to go off the wall. But there's a great block from Noxus. Loom trying to hover just a little bit. Pirates with the fake. Shot off the backboard. Do we see the Punisher? We don't. A rare miss coming out here from Pirates. But again, like we mentioned earlier, they understand that one of the biggest weaknesses are those backboard double taps that Concordia is just not able to defend with. We keep seeing them trying to go for that punishing shot, and clearly it's been working out for the majority of the time. We have four seconds left. Can they get this last goal to maintain the average? Every time this ball touches the ground, the game will be over, and there it is. Northwood coming out with a win, but one goal less than the other. Clearly we're seeing a bit of a, uh, changes coming out from Concordia, just not quite enough to make it uh, worth their while. Unfortunately, they aren't able to <laughs> perform the reverse sweep that we thought probably was not possible, but always, uh, always a possibility. It, you could definitely watching out through all of the games. Concordia was definitely adapting slowly, not quite as much as they needed to. Absolutely. There were still some rotation issues, a couple of saves that probably should have been made. But through each of those games, there were little things that were improved on that definitely could have given them a bit of an edge, like when the demos started to come out, and then you were bringing that up earlier, that they've got to go for those demos. They started to, but they weren't able to capitalize off right. of maybe getting, what was it, they had two demos within three seconds of <laughs> each least, other? yeah. Yeah, and especially in an opportunity like that where over half the team is uh, demoed and have to respawn. And again, it's that rotation aspect that they just aren't able to get back in time if you're able to capitalize on it. Those are the things that, as a team, Concordia should be working on. Um, again, kind of picking up the pace of the game and making sure your mechanics aren't the reason why you aren't able to make that backboard double touch save. Um, so lots of uh, possibilities coming out here from Concordia. Definitely not a team that uh, is, is going to be failing to show up on other teams. I just think Northwood is a bit too big of a beast to uh, maybe biting off more than they can chew trying to take them down here. Uh, but definitely a good game, and I definitely think that they have a lot of potential coming here in the future. Absolutely. All right, well, everyone, we really do appreciate you guys stopping by uh, our stream. Hopefully you guys all did enjoy. Make sure to drop a follow if you have not already. Have a great rest of the night, and hopefully we'll see you uh, back later with some more Rocket League content.